Hi there, welcome to day 11 of the March Madness Challenge. We are rocking and rolling. I hope you're feeling amazing so far. Today we're gonna work on an exercise called the saw and you have lots of spinal mobility work, especially in rotation and lateral flexion of the spine, which is like my sweet spot. I love that so much. So I hope you enjoy this workout too. We will start standing with the feet directly underneath the hips and let's just take a moment to stack those hips directly over the heels. Bring the ribs over the hips and let the shoulders draw up the ears down and roll them back to find just a really nice open position in the chest. From there, take the hands, interlace the fingers, and bring your hands behind your head. Let's try not to lift the ribs as we do that. So keep your ribs neutral, bring your hands behind your head. It's so silly, but it's kind of harder than you think, right? From here, I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me. We're going to do just some upper spinal mobility work. So we're really thinking of rib cage up here. When you're ready, you drop the head down, nod the chin towards the chest, let the elbows close, round that upper back, and then go the other way, lifting the chest up, opening those elbows wide, getting a little extension through the cervical and thoracic spine. Now drop it down, chin to the chest, curl, and then go the other way, lift, open the chest, reach, and we take it again, drop it down. Let's exhale as we curl into ourselves, feeling that sternum soften. And then we inhale and we arch it up. One more like that, exhale. And inhale. Good, now we're going to do some side to side movement. So I want you to take that right elbow and pull it down towards the right hip, feeling those left ribs open and stretch, and then bring it back, go the other way. Little side bend, oh, that feels good. And then bring it back. Small range of motion here for now. Again, we're really just focusing from rib cage up. Other way. Good, one more each way. Good, and stretch. Good, awesome. All right, release your arms, let it go. We're gonna make our way down to hands and knees. Now let's roll down to get there. So nod your chin towards your chest. Soften up the knees, walk your hands out and let your knees come down and find a nice comfortable hands and knees position here and we're going into our tail wags to continue opening up that side body and start to get into that lumbar spine area a little bit more. So we're going to wag our tail to the left and as we wag the tail to the left we look at it, side bending at the left waist, opening up the right waist and then we go the other way, wag the tail and look at it. And then keep moving through that. You can move through nice and smooth. No real stops. There should always be a nice flow to Pilates. It's really designed to not have any moments of holding. We don't always practice that 100%, but that's how Pilates is designed. One more each way with that tail wag. And nice breathing through it. I'm sorry if you just heard my little speaker decide to tell us it was connected. <laughs> Come to hands and knees in the center. And then we exhale and we round the back, dropping the tail, dropping the head, and curling the spine into flexion. And then going the other way, dropping into extension. And then we take the flexion, rounding the back, push down through the hands, push down through the tops of the feet, and then arch into extension. We'll just do one more there, round the back, scoop the belly, push down through the hands, push down through the tops of the feet, and then lengthen it into extension, drawing the shoulders down the back. Now from here, we're gonna try to basically combine those two exercises into a big circle for the torso. So let's wag the tail to the right, look at it, and then push down through the hands and go into a rounded spine. Wag the tail over to the left and drop through extension, and then just keep circling like that. Really freely, don't worry about hitting the positions exactly correctly. I just want you to move. I just want you to feel good here. Keep breathing through it. And then let's take the circle the opposite way. Take your time opening up the side body and the spine. Stretching through the front body, one more. And then let's just rest back into a child's pose, hips to heels, wide knees. 
Reach your arms out in front of you. Drop your forehead into the mat and take a stretch there. Feeling your armpits drop down to the mat. Breathe into your back body for an inhale. Breathe out of your belly for an exhale. And then we are going to make our way down to laying on our backs. Okay. Make any adjustments you need to here. We'll start with bent knees. Let's take a moment to find our neutral spine. So ASIS bones, hip points on the same plane as your pubic bone. Let those thigh bones sink into the hip sockets. Try to feel your rib cage heavy. And sometimes you could even play with like taking a little walk of your ribs up and see if you can create a little more space in your body. I felt like my body felt like it wanted to lengthen a little bit. So you can play with that if it's available to you. Maybe that doesn't feel like anything to you and that's okay. Okay, we find neutral, those ribs are heavy. We bring our right leg up to tabletop position. We bring our left leg up to meet it and we extend those arms straight up to the sky, plugging arms into shoulder sockets. Take an inhale to prepare, exhale, curl the head, neck and shoulders up as you press your hands down next to your hips. Hundred prep here. And then inhale it back down. Exhaling up. We're definitely going to play with our order a little bit today and do some variations on things and skip some other things. This is going to be a little less aligned with the like full classical sequence. Exhaling up. Inhaling down. One more. Exhaling up. Inhaling down. Now, both arms are going to go to the side of the right leg. Curl up. We're still reaching forward and really lifting that chest. Release it down. Do the left. Twist that upper thoracic spine. Twist the upper body to the right, or excuse me, to the left. And then bring it down to the right. Back to center. To the left. And center. Good. To the right. And center to the left. And center and down. Now go to the right and stay there. And we're going to do little tiny pulses up, pulse up, 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 up. Good. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Lay it down. Come through center. Go the other way. Twisting to the left. And reach for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, relax it down. Good, place both feet down. Stretch both legs out long and reach your arms overhead. Nod your chin to your chest, raise your arms up as you inhale. Use your exhale to roll all the way up and forward over your legs. Open up the back body as you stretch over the legs further and then roll it down bone by bone. Feeling fingertips and toes reach forward to help control the movement. And we take that again, chin to the chest, rolling it up. Feeling those shoulder blades wide and on the back, that back body expand. And we roll it down. Lengthening at the bottom, roll it up. And let's switch it up at the top today. So go ahead and come into your stretch and then sit up tall. Twist your upper body, so we're twisting from the waist to the right slightly, just past the right leg. It's not a full twist, right? So just a little bit of a twist. And then we're going to roll down the right side of the spine. So we're leaning more into the right side. We're finding that same energy through the fingertips. Let the arms come up and then take that again. I'm sorry, take that into a roll up. So we roll it up on that right side. Go ahead and reach over. Take it again, roll down the right side. Getting into those right obliques more and changing up the stretch on the spine up the right side. Stack your spine up and let's do it two times on the left. So twist a little bit to the left and then start to roll down that left side of the spine. Still feeling that energy reach through the fingertips and up and then up the left side of the spine. Reaching forward over that left leg and then roll down that left side. Lengthen 
It's amazing. I mean, it's definitely harder, but it's kind of amazing how good it feels too, just to have that little baby twist in the spine. I love it. So good. Okay, come back to center. Let's roll down through the middle. Hug your right knee into your chest for a moment. Let's give it a quick little hamstring stretch. Hands behind the thighs. Stretch that leg up. Flex your ankle. And then release it back down. Two more like that. Stretch it up. Flex the ankle. Stretch. Release it back down. And then take it again. Stretch and flex. Lengthen and release back down. Let's switch sides. Hugging that left knee in. Stretch it up. Flex. Stretch. And bring it in. Again, reach, flex, and back down. One more, stretch it up, flex that ankle, lengthen, and come back in. Place that foot down. Let's go heels together, toes apart at the bottom of the mat so you have that external rotation of the thighs. Let's lift that right leg straight up to the sky, energy through the toes into our single leg circle. Leg goes across the body down, exhale it up and around. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale one more inhale and exhale reverse go the other way press those arms down into the mat feel wide across the collarbones as that waist is twisting inhale and exhale last one inhale and exhale sweep that right leg down to the mat lift the left leg keep that external rotation energy through the toes inhale and exhale inhale and exhale one more in that direction Reverse and go the other way. Inhale and exhale. Good. Sweep it around, keeping those shoulders anchored as the hips are twisting to move the leg. One more. Lower that leg all the way down. <laughs> Not the chin to the chest. Come all the way up. I'm just laughing because our speaker keeps wanting to let me know what it's connected to. All right. So we're going to bend the knees, come into our rolling like a ball position. Hands come to the shins. We pull those heels into the seat. Draw the legs in. Pull the shoulders down the back. Tuck your tail. Find a nice rounded position all the way from crown of the head down to the tail. Inhale to roll back to your shoulders. Exhale it up. Inhale to roll it down. Exhale it up. Inhale, roll it back. Exhale up. Just one more. Inhale, roll back. Exhale up. And then let's slowly come down into our single leg stretch. Roll down as you hug that right knee into the chest. Pulse into the leg, into the chest with two pulses. Pulse, pulse, and switch. Pull, pull, and switch. Pull, pull. Keep drawing that belly deeper into the spine with every exhale. Pull, 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 and pull. Good, one more each way. Pull, and pull. And then let's hug both knees into the chest here, and then extend both legs out. Inhale to stretch. Arms lengthen, legs lengthen. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, stretch it away. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, hug. Two more. Inhale, lengthen away. Exhale, hug. One more. Inhale. And exhale, lower your head down. Turn your head side to side. Bring those legs up to tabletop position now and take the hands, interlace the fingers, and place the hands like a hammock behind your head. When you are ready, curl the head, neck, and shoulders up as you twist your torso to the right. So the chest twists to the right. Our left leg will extend. And I want you to not think elbow to knee. I want you to actually twist your chest to the right, pushing down with your right shoulder, lifting up with your left shoulder. Move through center. Whew, that was hard to talk through. Okay. Twist the other way. And then bring it back. Twisting that left shoulder over the right shoulder. And bring it back and twist and bring it back. So this is our crisscross, which a lot of Pilates classes include, but it's not actually in the classical sequence written by Joe, which is interesting. Twist and bring it back, but it has become very well known as a Pilates exercise. Let's do one more each way. Twist. Back to center and left. Back to center, relax those legs down. Whoo, that felt good. All right, straight legs out, arms reach up overhead. Now do your chin to your chest, roll all the way up to sitting. Straighten those legs long. Legs will be hip distance apart. Arms stretch straight out in front of you. 
Let's drop the shoulders down the ears and feel plugged in so we're not reaching forward and tightening in the pecs there. Nod the chin to the chest, start to round the spine. Keep the rounded spine and reach it forward over your legs, stretch. And then pull the ribs back over the hips and lengthen up tall. Take it again, chin to chest. Round, reach forward. Stack it up. One more. Right back up. Now, twist slightly over the right leg and round forward and stretch over just the right leg. And then lengthen it back up. Nod the chin to the chest. Reach rounded spine forward over the leg and stack it up. One more on the right, chin to chest. Round that back. Pull the belly back as the fingers reach forward. Oppositional energy there. Stack the spine, take it to the left. Nod chin to chest, round the spine. Take that rounded spine over your left leg. Stack it back up. Chin to the chest. Reach it forward. Stack it up. One more. Chin to the chest, round the back. Reach that rounded spine forward over the leg. Come all the way up, squeeze those legs together, roll yourself down. We're gonna do our modified corkscrew today, so we're not going overhead at all today. Legs will come straight up to the sky, and then we inhale to twist the legs to the right, down, exhale, up and around. To the left, inhale, and exhale, sweep them around. How much can you press those arms evenly into the mat, staying wide across the collarbones? Inhale. And exhale, sweep it around. Remember, we're twisting from the waist. The hips are twisting to carry the legs. And left. Keep using your breath to help you. One more set. Inhale. And exhale it around. And left. And exhale it around. I'm going to have you lower your legs with control. Find those abdominals. Find those abdominals. Drawing in and up, in and up, in and up. Good. Reach your arms up to the sky, chin to the chest, roll it up again. All right, awesome. We're gonna prepare for our saw with a couple little um, kind of like piecemeal break it down exercises and then we'll put it all together. So you'll sit with your legs a little bit wider than hip distance apart now. So maybe about the width of your mat or even a little bit wider. You find those sits bones, you anchor down into them, you lift up really nice and tall, ribs right over hips, take those hands, interlace them behind your head again. From here, just a side bend. Side bend your left elbow down to the left hip, and then bring it back up. Take it the other way, side bend. Nice, and bring it up, and side bend. And bring it up, good, and right. Awesome, one more each way, left, good. and right, good. Now go to the left, stay there, twist your chest down to the hip, bring it back to center, and up, side bend, add the twist, side bend, and up, good, side bend, twist it down, open, good, side bend, center and up. Awesome. Come to just stacking your arms in a genie position. Soften the shoulders and then I just want you to take a pure spinal rotation. So we're going to inhale and twist, twist, twist. Exhale back to center. Inhale to twist, twist, twist. Exhale back to center. Let's reverse that breath. I want you to exhale to twist. Inhale back to center. Exhale to twist. Inhale, back to center. One more each way. And back to center. And left. Back to center. Now, I'm going to have you rest your arms down. I'm feeling a lot of tension in my hip flexors right now. Maybe you are too. So let's just lean back and kind of give those legs a little like windshield wiper in and out. Relax them for a second. And then come back up. We're going to reach our arms out to the side and we're going for our full saw now. So you will twist to the left first. Take your right arm and reach it to the outside of the foot. As you do that, your head peeks back at the opposite hand there, that left hand, and you're rounding the spine. We're scooping. 
and you're gonna pulse forward towards that outside of the foot two times, pulse, pulse, and then inhale it back up. So we're rounding the spine into flexion and twisting at the same time. So we twist, we find that scoop like in our spine, stretch forward, we round and we pulse into it, pulse, pulse, reach back with those opposite fingers, look at that opposite hand, pulse, pulse, and then reach it back up. We twist and we reach. Inhale it up, twist and reach. Inhale it up, good, reach. And lengthen up and reach. And up, let's do one more each way, twist and reach in the pulse, exhale, pull, pulse. Inhale it up and go the other way, pull, pull, and lengthen all the way up. Awesome, nice work everybody. Let's come up onto our knees and just stretch those hip flexors out before we finish for the day. Make any adjustments you need to. Step your right foot forward, having your left knee on the mat. We're gonna tuck the tail under and then start to just press those hips forward into a little stretch. And then just release it back. We'll take that same thing again. Woo, don't fall, keep the tail tucked and press it forward, stretch. And then bring it right back forward. Just one more, keep that tail tucked, press the hips forward. And release, let's do the other side. I'm gonna turn around, you don't have to, you can just switch which leg is in front. Tuck that tail, really drop. Little bit of a squeeze of the glutes, and then we press it forward. And then release it back. Taking that again, keep it tucked, a little press forward. And bring it back. Let's take that again. Being careful not to arch that lumbar spine anywhere past neutral. Good, one more. Awesome. Okay, you're all done for today. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you again tomorrow.